Hi y'all, it's Charlene from the Craft Yard Shack and we're here today with another challenge video. So let's get to the craft desk and get started. Let's go. All right, here we go with DIY number one. Now for this DIY, you're gonna need a piece of a napkin and you're gonna need a blank piece of, or a piece of uh, copy paper. I usually use scrap pieces that I have left over. And you're gonna need some painter's tape and you're gonna to wanna to put this in your printer face up or face down depending on how your printer prints. And then I went to Graphic Fairy to print off my designs. Now I printed off all three of my designs from Graphic Fairy, just so you know. And the next thing you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to take and cut the tissue paper part of it away. And it's not tissue paper, it's a napkin. And you're going to need to cut that away and trim it down to the size to fit your little dish. Now I got this little silver tray from the thrift store and I'm going to cut my uh, image down and I'm going to actually take alcohol, run it around the edge of it and then fray the little edges off. And I use alcohol because it evaporates pretty quick and then it's ready to, I can use it on my piece right away and I don't have to wait. And I like to tear the edges so it gives it a smooth transition into the next project. Next thing I did is I took my little silver tray, I paid 99 cents for it. I probably got it on half off day because that's what I do. And so anyway, I'm gonna paint the inside of this, the outside of it, rust holy and linen white chalk paint and let it dry. Once it's dry, I'm going to, uh, I'm just checking to make sure it's all dry. I'm going to lay my little piece down on it and make sure it still fits and that it's not too big. And then I'm going to place some Mod Podge down on my project. And then I'm going to lay my little uh, design in there and slowly pat it down very carefully. I'm not using a sponge. I'm not using... Um, any, uh, what is that called, plastic wrap or nothing like that. I'm just taking my little brush and very carefully smoothing over this until I get it all in there and then I'm gonna let it dry. And then once it's dry, I'm gonna go around with some antiquing wax that I have on this little baby wipe and I'm gonna rub it around the edges because I want this to look very vintage. And then after I finish that, I'm going to go over the inside, the outside of it. Then I'm going to come back with some black chalk paint and I'm going to dab the edges of this where I'm putting on that uh, antiquing wax now. I'm going to come back and put some black chalk paint, but I don't have the footage for that. But we'll see the rest of it at the final reveal. Now, this is the Thrift Flip Road Trip Open Challenge hosted by the Crafting Cousins and Unicorn Dust and Designs. It happens, uh, it's going to be happening on, on Thursdays every other month. So if you're interested in joining, get in touch with one of these two ladies. There's also going to be a playlist and the links to these two ladies' channels in the description box below. Go check them out and check the playlist out because there's some awesome crafters doing some awesome crafts. So go check them out and let's get on with the rest of the video. Now here we go with DIY number two and basically what I did for this DIY is the same thing I did for the first one. I found this uh, picture at the thrift store. It was marked five dollars and I'm going to wipe it and clean it just like I did the first little tray and get all the gook off and then I printed out a design to put on this off of Graphics Fairy and then I'm going to paint this with Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint. Now after my chalk paint's dry, I didn't paint the inside of this, but after my chalk paint's dry, then I'm going to lay down my Mod Podge and I'm going to very carefully, very lightly press this into that Mod Podge and then I'm going to go around the edges and make sure all the edges are sealed and down and then I'll go over the whole thing and this turned out absolutely gorgeous and then after that dries then I'm going to go back in with this antiquing wax and I'm going to rub it all over this piece and I laid it on thick for this piece and then I'm going to go back and buff some of that off when I 
get through adding it on there as much as I want and I'm using a baby wipe. Then the next thing I did is I dipped my brush in the black chalk paint and I'm laying it on its side and rubbing that black on and then I'm going and taking of course my alarm goes off in the middle of me trying to record my video. <laughs> um, I'm going to go back with a baby wipe and just kind of uh, rub some of that around but I want this to kind of have that enamel look so I'm going around the bottom and then I'm going to just wipe it on wipe it off until I get it the way I want it to look and I'm going over all of the edges that are raised or there's a transition section like around this base there's a little uh I don't know how to, what to tell y'all it is but it's kind of like a little lip down there and I went around and put some there and I just keep doing this and I go on the handle and I'm either using the tip of my brush or either I'm using the very edge of my brush the side of my brush and I'm going to keep putting it on there until I get it to look like I want it to look and we will see the rest of this at the final reveal now at this time we'd like to give our subscribers a special thank you we love you bunches and we really appreciate you here we go with diy number three now for this diy i got this silver tray and i'm going to clean it up just like i did the others i'm going to paint it with the rust-oleum linen white chalk paint now after that dries i'm going to go and take uh yeah i'm getting my fan out to try to dry it some more i don't know why i'm using my fan i should be using my uh heat gun <laughs> so let me go get it dry it, it's really important when you're creating these projects and I got this design off of graphics fairy that you do not try to do this while your paint is still wet because it will mess up your design ask me how I know because I did it <laughs> so I'm going and laying this down making sure I get all the edges all the little bubbles out and I'm going to mod podge over the top of it just like I did the other two projects and then I'm going to use my antiquing wax on this as well now this had those fancy little feet on the bottom you want to make sure you do those too and I didn't like how this looked the first time I did it so I'm going back and putting another coat of paint on there I don't know how that antiquing wax is going to affect this but the project turned out beautiful but if you make sure you have all the paint on it that you want on it before you do this and I don't advise putting the paint over the antiquing wax because I'm not sure if it's going to seal it what it's going to do if you know leave a comment below and tell me but I'll go back after this dries and put another coat of antiquing wax on it and then I'm going to trim it out with the black just like I did the other two projects when I trim it out you see how I'm laying that brush on there flat that helps you get everything that's raised a coat on there and if it's not raised it won't get on there if that makes sense does that help y'all I hope so I'm gonna finish going around this and we will see the rest of this at the final reveal you guys all these little projects turned out cute I know this was a short video but I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a comment below. We'd like to hear from you. Now, this is the Thrift Flip Road Trip Open Challenge hosted by the Crafting Cousins and Unicorn Dust and Designs. It happens, uh, it's going to be happening on, on Thursdays every other month. So if you're interested in joining, get in touch with one of these two ladies there's also going to be a playlist and the links to these two ladies channels in the description box below go check them out and check the playlist out because there's some awesome crafters doing some awesome crafts so go check them out and let's get on with the rest of the video well, here we go with the final reveal
from the craft test and didn't these turn out so cute now if you like our content subscribe and that way you don't miss another episode of the crafty art shack because we're always doing something fun always trying something new and always doing crazy things <laughs> So, you guys subscribe if you're not subscribed. It's free. And we'll see you in the next episode of the Crafty Art Shack. We'll see you later. Bye. Hi, y'all. It's, uh, yeah, that's supposed to be the ending. <laughs> not a big You can take and put a picture on this side and this side. And, yeah, that's what you can do. Sure is. Like you didn't know. <laughs> I cracked myself up. You guys, if you like this content, subscribe. Yeah, that's what I want you to do, is subscribe and watch it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One of these, what I would do different. And you guys, I hope you stay tuned for that. Yeah, I hope you do. Yeah, hope I'm not that boring. <laughs> well, give us that big thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next episode. See you later. Bye.